Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here. Yet another three string cigar box guitar listen. It's the great Slim Harpo and raining in my heart. This is a really cool riff. Using your fingers, we're tuned to open G. So this is an A string tuned down to G and a D string to normal to D and a G string to normal to G. G, D, and G. This one is really cool. It's got some really interesting walk-ups and I'm using my fingers on this one. You don't have to use your fingers, but it really does sound better, I think, with your fingers. So we're gonna start out walking up and playing some chords. I'm using my thumb on the third string and I'm using my second finger on the first string and my first finger on the second string. This is home base for finger style three string CBG. Using my pinky to anchor, if you so choose. So, claw hammer with this hand. What does that mean? Well, I'm just using my fingers to pluck the strings. So here's what I'm doing. Pinky, anchoring the guitar. Third finger is not doing anything at all. I have my first finger on the second string and my second finger on the first string. This is a super common fingering style on a three string or a four string cigar box guitar. What I'm doing here as far as the picking is thumb and then these two fingers at the same time. So it's thumb and one and two. Pinky anchors the hand on the guitar so everything is steady. Just alternating thumb and your first two fingers back and forth. So when we start out, we're starting out with the open chord and then we're gonna hammer to the second fret and then we're gonna slide up to the third fret. Then we're gonna slide up to the fourth fret and the fifth fret and then go back down. So this is what it sounds like. That's at the beginning of the song and it repeats several times during the song. So that's the intro. So let's take a look at the right hand up close. I'm plucking all three fingers at the same time. Thumb, first and second. And you're starting out, no fingers at all. Then you're gonna hammer to the second fret. So it's open. First finger's on the second fret. And immediately after that, your third finger goes to the fourth fret. Then you slide up immediately to the fifth fret. It's very cool. Again, thumb and one and two. Back and forth. You can see that flip off chord, that's what I call it. Right there. And I'm using my third finger and I'm sort of pressing down on that third finger with my second finger for extra pressure. Because I'm sliding up chords. You have to mash those strings down really hard to hammer these chords. So that's the intro. And then you start singing, raining in my heart, and you go up to the fifth fret, and we're going to bar all the way across. So there's several ways we can do this. That's the shuffle up here on the four chord, which is C, G, A, B, C. So after the intro, raining in my heart and this is where you start playing on the fifth fret barring all the way across so up 
up close, this is what it looks like. So it's basically a shuffle, but I'm using my fingers. And I'm walking up. So, the first thing you want to do is bar all the way across. Then you use your pinky three frets up. By the way, the second finger is not doing anything at all. It looks like it might be fretting, but it's not. I've got this first finger down, barred, and I'm using my third and fourth finger. Now, the easiest way to do your right hand is just claw hammer. I'm clawing and hammering. Well, it's not really hammering. I'm clawing. It really should be called the claw. So all I'm doing is this all the way through. So my thumb's on the big string, my first finger's on the second string, and the third finger is on the first string. So it's da 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 all three strings at the same time. So when you start out the song. with the open chord so that was the four chord with a walk up so that's the bass part it's simulating a bass chord, or bass, uh, a walking bass pattern. But I'm also playing the, the chord on top of it. So I've got my fingers pressing that down, or my first finger, but I'm using these fingers to claw hammer. So I'm sort of kind of playing two parts at the same time. So you've got that shuffle that going on there, but you've also got the bass notes and the walk-ups. So I'm playing a little riff here, individual notes. All right, so we've gone eight minutes into this lesson and we haven't even gotten halfway through, but never fear. This part is rather tricky because it's like 98% of the entire song. So back to the top. That's the intro. I showed you that a minute ago. And I'm literally pulling all three strings at once for that part. Now, he starts singing, raining in my heart, and we're going to go up to the fifth fret. And we're playing that shuffle, but we're also using all three fingers. And we're plucking all three strings at the same time. back to open. So let me show you that part. It's a lot easier because we're using open strings. I'm using my first finger and my thumb on the outside two strings. The top two, or the outside two strings, are being plucked first. And I'm walking up, playing only those two strings. I start out with the outside two strings. Then I go to the inside two strings. Well, I should say the middle and the first. So it's a little bit tricky at first. You have to kind of look up here to see what I'm doing with that hand, but you also have to look at this hand to see which fingers are plucking what strings. Now, we're almost done. We're gonna go up to the seven chord. And then back down to the five. And now we're gonna play the intro again. 
And that's the whole song. So from the top. Raining in my heart. the whole song well not exactly it just does that three or four times for each verse that whole thing and you're done Raining in my heart. I don't know the words here the first verse and you're going to do that whole thing again for the subsequent verses and that's the entire song and we're in the key of g so the easy way to start out to play a solo is three zero three zero three zero first string on the third fret and then open and the same thing on the second string and the third string so that would be your scale. So how would you play a solo on this if you're playing the song? Well, it's a little bit tricky. So if I did that, it'd be like. Basically, you just have to sort of figure out which open strings work and keep that rhythm going. You're not necessarily playing a shuffle, but it's a shuffle feel. So you're sort of kind of playing a solo and rhythm guitar at the same time. It's complicated to explain. It's actually easier if you just jump right in and start doing it. Okay, one more time from the top. Raining in my heart. the intro and then you stop and you wait a couple of beats and you kick right back in again and then you come up to the fifth fret so there's no singing until you play that four chord which is barring on the fifth fret repeating those verses until you're done with the song. So have fun with that. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out my website jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars just like this one since 2004, now in my 20th year. Also check down below for details on the hardware that I use and the different tunings and all sorts of stuff like that. The amps and all sorts of other really interesting cool trivia. We'll see you next time.